Hey, what's good, my YouTube peoples? What's going on? So, this is my road to rise and build. And in the last video that I had created, I uh, updated the BIOS on this uh, motherboard using the flashback feature. Now, uh, since then, I've installed the motherboard. As you can see here in the case, this is the case here. It's a fractal design case. So the motherboard is installed. All the wires are connected. The wiring, everything is done. Everything, uh, video card and all that good stuff is, is installed. The, the, uh, the CPU, the fan, AMD. Uh, again, this is a MSI. As you can see there, it's an MSI uh, Tomahawk B450 motherboard. Now, before, this motherboard would not boot up. It would not boot up. It would boot up every every now and then, but it wasn't consistent. You know what I'm saying? It would freeze, it, you know, like, uh, show like it's trying to boot up, but it, it just wouldn't boot up. Turns out that a lot of people in the uh, community are having the same issue with this uh, motherboard and other MSI motherboards uh, for the B450 and the X470 uh, chipset using Ryzen 3000. Uh, any any Ryzen 3000 CPU, whether it's 3600, 3600X, or uh, 3700X. So the problem is, again, uh, the motherboard will not boot. And that is the issue that a lot of people are having, uh, including myself. Um, it boots kind of when it wants to, when it feels like it. And some people have to uh, try and boot up all the way up to the 20 times in order for, for, the, uh, for the user to get a post. So there has been a workaround that has been found. That workaround is to remove the, uh, the reset switch, the reset uh, jumper, the reset switch jumper, to remove that, uh, that jumper from the motherboard. And uh, according to the, uh, to the forums, it's saying uh, a lot of people are having uh, a lot of success with that. So we're gonna do that now. Uh, first of all, we're going Make sure we ain't got no power in this thing. Disconnect this. Okay. Put that there. Okay. Alright, so the reset switch should be uh let's see which one it is. Ah, it's this one. Right here. So we're gonna remove it. And as you can see. Focus. That is indeed the reset switch. I'm going to tug that away over here. Okay, we're going to plug back in the board. Plug it back in. Turn it on. Okay, let's see if we get a post. I got the, the case on its side. Let's see if we get a post. Huh? Huh? I see something. Huh? Looks like we got a post, guys. Looks like we got a post. Oh, we got a post. We got a post. Nice. Nice. That actually worked. Holy shit. <laughs> that actually worked. Wow. Okay. See that there? Oh, well. Boot up. Yep. Yeah, look at that, guys. We've got a post. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep, there we go. And Windows. Got the MSI logo there. I like that. Okay. There we go. Wow. Nice. Okay. Hold on. Let me sit down here. Let me check this out. Yeah. Y'all like my Star Wars thing? <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Nice. Yeah. 
Wow, it's fast too. Wow, look at that. Look how fast that is. Oh, damn. Let's go over here. Uh huh. Let's go. Uh, it's our Ryzen. Ryzen 5 3600X, baby. Nice. Okay, let's turn it off. Let's shut it down. Let's see if it turns back on. Oh, I can't see. All right, shutting down. Okay. Let the system turn off. Okay, it's off. Fans are off. Okay, it's off. It's my video card there. Okay, let's turn it back on. See if it boots up. Fans are spinning. See if we get a post. Yep, yep. Uh huh. Look at that. That was pretty quick, too. Yep, there we go. Five and five. Nice. Nice. That actually worked. <laughs> okay, so, all right, guys. So, um, those of you with MSI motherboards B450 X470 chipset, um, remove the uh, the reset switch jumper and uh, boot boot the machine, and you should get a post. This is uh, number two. Boot up number two. We're gonna do it a third time just to see. We're gonna try it one more time. So I'm gonna shut it down. Oh, let me log in here. Okay. Pretty fast boot up too. All right, so I'm gonna shut it down. Okay. There's my cat there. Casper, hey boy. He likes looking at the birds. All right, so it's turning off. Okay, it's off. Fans are spinning. Okay, the machine is turned off. See, machine is turned off. Tomahawk, you see the Tomahawk logo. AMD, baby. Okay, let's turn it on. See if it uh, boots up again. There we go. Fans are spinning. See if we get a post. Yep. Getting the post, guys. Yep. There we go. Okay, so that uh, that method actually works. That method actually works. Okay, so what you guys got to do is um, uh, those of you with Ryzen three thousand chips. Um, oh, went into BIOS. Okay, that's uh, a bit abnormal, but uh, at least we go into BIOS. Let me just uh, hit F10 and just save uh, setting. Yeah. Okay. Let's see the post. Um, so we're on BIOS version 18. Um, according to MSI, version 19 should be coming out pretty soon. 19.1 uh, we don't know when it's coming out MSI really didn't give too much detail as to um, when the new BIOS is coming out but for right now this is a workaround um, for the current issue uh, just remove the uh, the reset jumper and you should be fine booting up to my windows yep there we go There we go. Boots up. All right, guys. There you go. The uh, the workaround to the uh, current issue 
with uh, MSI motherboards, B450 and X70 chipset now booting up again. Remove the um, the reset switch jumper uh, from the motherboard and uh, start up the machine, and you should be good to go. Uh, pretty much a hundred. 100% success rate uh, for me anyway every time I booted up the machine as you saw it always booted up just that last time it booted up into BIOS but uh, I mean as long as we get a boot up it doesn't really matter it's still successful so all right